Tanzania kwa majina ninaitwa Fadhili Haya Rashidi. Ah leo hii tutakuwa tuna somo jipya kama tulivyoambia hapo awali kwamba kila siku tutazidi kupeana mambo mapya. Hivyo basi usisahau kusubscribe my YouTube channel Forest Life, kushare pia ku comment popote utakapoona pana stahili kutoa mchango hata wa mawazo ili tuweze kuendelea mbele na tutorials zetu. Kwa leo tutajifunza namna ya kukusanya data au taarifa kwa kutumia phone Android kwa application inayoitwa Cobo Toolbox ambayo kwa kuanza jinsi ya kutengeneza account kama unavyoona kuna vipengele vitano cha kwanza to open Cobo Toolbox data collection account then tuta create question for respondent tutakuja kwenye skip logic validation rules criteria and finally how to deploy data form on mobile device especially android phone ah uh, kwa kuanza na kipengele cha kwanza tutakuja ku open browse tutakuja kwenye browser hapa tuta type cobo toolbox then tutakuja cobo toolbox data collection tool for challenging then tugusa hapo ah uh, kama unavyoona mimi tayari i have my account kwa hiyo kama huna account tutakuja hapo kwenye sign up zitatokea hapa ni mbili kuna pande ya kwanza ambayo tunasema ni left side ambayo ina state kwamba unlimited unlimited use for humanitarian organization hii anaweza siwe mtu mmoja mmoja laba mtu wa kufanya research au mfanya kazi ikawa ni kama organization inahitaji kukusanya data kwa hiyo utatumia hii platform ya upande wa kushoto ila kama ni mtu mmoja mmoja labda au researchers si ndivyo utakuja utatumia upande wa kulia ambapo utakuja hapa ku uta create account ila kama ilivyokuambia kama una account uta log in oho naona mimi nimeleta direct hapa kwenye platform yangu ikimaanisha kwamba tayari i have i have account then to back up create account okay sorry let's come here so we can go account hapa ah it allowed ili uweze kufungua kama nilivyokuambia kwa mwanzo kwamba eh combo toolbox ni ni web platform which involves the collection of information to the specific region by creating different questions to the respondent ambapo tutakapokuwa tukitengeneza maswali wao watakuwa wakikujibu watu ambao unahitaji kupata data zao hasa kwa wanafunzi ambao unahitaji utumie teknolojia hii ya Cobo Toolbox kukusanya information zako au wana research what kwa hiyo kwa kuanza kwa mfano hapa tunatengeneza Cobo Toolbox account atanyaza uh, hapa tukuja organization name laba mimi natumia hii hapa Tanzania Tree Seed Agents eh uh, nitakuja username ta select any username for example hii hapa email tajaza yoyote ambayo ulio nayo sector tukuja for environment country i think everyone have a country unaweza ukajaza kama mimi Tanzania ya yeah? okay Tanzania Amel password ita enter password yako Okay. then we can repeat alpha we can create account but if you have account hauna haja ya kuja huku uta back then utakuja hapa kwa sababu ninayo account inashafungua katika huu upande wa kulia utakuja hapa kwenye account yangu okay kwa kwanza hapa kama unavyoona na first project hapa niliwahi kuifanya sasa na tengeneza new tutakia platform nne kama unazoziona hapa lakini most usable katika Cobo Toolbox ni building from scratch ambao kuna ya pili ni use template utakuja these two group ambazo tunasema ni more advanced unaweza uka create maswali pembeni kwenye excel up then ukaja uka upload hapa lakini sisi tutatumia hii first platform ambayo inasema building from scratch tutagusa <coughs> uh, kwa kwanza utaanza project name 
which name of your project maybe you can say my second project okay my second project description uh, like this is my second project what <coughs> in Kobo box yes sector I come all over the ones of all the environment country such a polaba Tanzania yes tayari up then ukaja create yes hapa my second project i think it is already hapa tumbia this form is currently empty empty gaps tunaanza kwa kutengeneza maswali ambayo yatakuwa yatakuwa respondent kwa watu ambao wewe utakaopenda kwenda kuwauliza kuna alama ya plus hapa utaanza kwa kubonyeza hii then utaanza swali lako la kwanza kwa mfano swali la kwanza what is what is your name okay this is the first question for your respondent sasa ili aweze ili kujibu swali lazima uli specify kwamba hii swali alijibu katika which kind of form baba ajibu kama namba ajibu kama text au kwa hiyo utabonyeza inter key kama unavyoona zitakuja a lot of options kwa mfano hapa tuna select one kwamba hii ni aina ya maswali ambayo inahitaji mtu achague achague ni kipi anachoweza kujaza yani kuna mo, mo, uh, kuna more than one option to select the answer lakini hapa select many ziko nyingi uta select pale ni zaidi ya moja unaweza ka select lakini hapa select one it means there is a two options you can select one hapa aina ya text kwamba mtu ambaye anahitaji ajibu maswali yangu <coughs> ye atajibu kwa maelezo kwa mfano what is your name my name is someone someone hiyo itakuwa ni text kwa hiyo no way out tuta select text Okay. Uh, then uta save <coughs> baada ya kuwa ma save utakuja kwenye preview form utaangalia form yako uliyotengeneza kwa mara ya kwanza hapo Okay sorry tukuja hapo preview your form or your first question what is your name for example hapa can type my name is hmm? Fadili Yahai okay then okay we are proceed with the second question uh so la pili uh tutagusap tutakuja swali la pili labda tuseme jenda okay jenda <coughs> kama kawaida uta press enter key in your pc always jenda we know we have two gender we have male and a female hivyo basi hatuna budi ku select select one okay first one type mail and second one uh female kama unavyoona then uta hide hapa <coughs> utakuja u save alafu then ndio kwa hii icon kwa niaba ya preview <coughs> Uh, a preview from first question wasoma what is your name then gender then click here if you are male if you are female select one among of these two option okay and then we are proceed with another question another question uta click plus ku click plus uh utakuja how old are you Okay. How old are you? Kama kawaida utaangalia. Okay. 
how old are you tuta enter key hapa nyaka always haina decimal wala text kwa hiyo tutakuja akajibu in number okay uh, tutakuja kwenye hint hint hapo uh, nyaka tutajaza in ya kwamba ina recommend kwamba lazima aweke kwenye form ya ya then kwamba tarehe ngapi mwezi wa ngapi mwaka 1990 na somethings ategemeana na miaka ya respondent then tuta add another question uh nasema your phone number your phone number mbao phone number kama kawaida point form of number tuna save the tuna save kwa pamoja zote hizo then tuna review up ah <coughs> uh, kwenye preview kama tunaona kama kawaida phone number tajaza how old are you mtu atajaza okay tuna proceed another question natuambia kwamba uh, are you married are you are you married sasa hapa mtu kama yuko kwenye ndoa au hayuko kwenye ndoa it means kwamba respondent atakuwa ana two options ambapo hapa tuta select one tuta select one tega uh, kaolewa o ajaolewa kwa kama kaolewa ta press yes ndio then okay hapo kama tunaviona successful updated kwa tukuja kwenye preview ya maswali yetu okay itakuwa kama hivi <coughs> Tambia. Yes, what is your name? Nenda. How old are you? Your phone number? Are you married? Sinivyo. Okay, baada ya hapo tutakuja kuya group haya maswali. Yaani haya maswali yawe katika one form of group. Ambapo yani asiwe marefu ambapo mtu ambaye anayeuliza ndivyo ambaye au ambaye anakwenda kufanya research anakuwa anajua kwamba kipengele hichi cha kwanza kitahusiana na kitu hichi kipengele hichi cha pili kitahusiana na kitu hichi atakuja hapo kwenye first question ata hold control key atagusa ya kwanza atagusa ya pili atagusa ya tatu atagusa ya nne atagusa ya tano kama unavyoona is border zimekuwa za blue kutoka kwenye weusi imekuja kuwa ya blue kama unavyoona hapa Uh, then utakuja kwenye hii hapa ambayo inasema create group with selected question uta gusa kwa group group iliyotokea hii group uta name labda ya kwanza utasema respondent respondent details hizi ni taarifa zinayomhusu mtu ambaye anaulizwa maswali then tuta hide zinakuja kama first group Mwana respondents detail sinivyo kwa hiyo tuta kwenda kwenye group la pili ambapo tuta add question kama unavyoona hapo swali letu la pili tutakuja kumuuliza huyu mhojiwa au respondent kwamba <coughs> how many people in your in your household sinivyo tukuja kumwambia kwamba how many people household <coughs> kama kawaida tuta enter key okay how many people in your household moja kwa moja hapa lazima how many it means kwamba itakuwa in form of numbers kwamba ata type kwamba tuko wawili tuko watatu tuko wanne nk hivyo basi tutagusa number 
then uta save then utakuja kwenye preview maswali ya ta display kama unavyoona hapa okay respondent details tutafungua hapo then utakuja how many people in your household kwa hiyo respondent ata respond kwa kuandika unaona ukitype maneno hayaji ila ukitype number zinakuja hapo okay then uta back uta add another questions okay <coughs> hapo utakuja kumuuliza labda ah uh, respondent wako kwamba ni njia ipi kati ya zifuatazo zinamuulizia kipato kwenye familia yake let us type in english kwa sababu utakuwa unatumia watu tofauti tofauti lakini katika kukufanya ku, uelewe utakuwa na kuelezea kwa Kiswahili but form ya question itakuwa in english okay ambapo nasema which of the following kuna maswali yetu pembeni ambayo tutayatengeneza kwa niaba ya kufanya data collection which uh, nasema of the following is is your of income in your house hold okay sasa hapa tutaangalia ni which type of answer je ni select one or text or number kwenyeza inter key hapa ukimisi kwamba kwa chini patakuwa kuna series ya items ambazo inabidi a select hivyo basi itakuwa ni select mene tabusa hapo first one laba ni mfanya biashara business au ya pili ni prince of work income yake piece of work au income yake tunaweza tukaongeza pia hapa. Ya tatu income yake ikawa ni salary au pia ikaja ikawa ni others. Ada. Sinaweza ikawa kati ya hizi zote tatu za kwanza asiwe na husika nazo. Ila hii other ikawa inamhusu katika kujiingizia kipato kwenye makazi yake au katika nyumba yake hapo, si ndivyo? Uh, lakini pia hapa uh, okay hapa akawa ni select other kwa hiyo lazima aspecify kwamba hiyo other ni aina gani ya shughuli ambayo anaifanya ili iweze kumuingizia kipato uh, hivyo basi utagusa hapa si ndivyo utamwambia specify a uh, specify ndio at a specify to specify which source of income specify which source of income si ndio ambapo sasa hapa tutaangalia to specify lazima ataelezea maana yake itakuwa ni text kama unavyoona hapo si ndivyo hapa tuta hide okay sorry hapa not which but tunaweza uh, tukasema other source of income si ndivyo okay ada hapo yeah tuna save okay ah baada ya ku save then tuna preview kuja kuangalia maswali yetu wale tuko nao sambamba yes hapa hapo mfano other specify other source of income uta elezea hapa okay tuna endelea okay then tutakuja tutengeneze group la pili 
Nakuja tu kutengeneza grupu la pili kwa sababu grupu la kwanza kama nilivyokuambia uh, ilikuwa ile hapo. Responded details. Kwa hiyo sasa itakuwa ni household details. Hivyo basi tuta control key tutagusa kwanza tutagusa hii hapa. Hii hapa kama unaona imechukua zote kwa hiyo unaweza za ukazirudisha kwanza hapo na kugusa hapa ya tatu. Ndio? Aha zote zenye zenye blue tayari maana yake umeselect then utakuja hapa uta create group tayari ile hapo group uta name kwamba house hold details ndio then to minimize kwa group la pili tuna details au information au maswali yanayohusiana na maswala ya makazi si ndivyo ah tutaendelea na maswali swali la tatu au kipengele cha tatu au group la tatu kwa kuad questions a question hapa tutamwambia kwamba do you own land kwamba anamiliki ardhi ndivyo kwa kama kawaida pinta atatuambia yes or not kwa it means select one number first option ah uh, yes and second option no so ndivyo yes kwa hapo atatuambia ninamiliki land au similiki land then save unaweza ka preview au endelea na uh, swali lingine sasa hapa swali ambalo mtakalo endelea yategemeana na hapa tatizo vipi kwa mfano akisema yes or no kwa mfano akisema yes swali ambalo litakalo kuwa linaendelea hapa uh, kutuambia au ata specify the de details of each piece of land si ndivyo aha kwa mfano mtuambia kwamba yes i have a land at the specify to specify the details of each sliver piece of land sliver aha so so he ni kama instruction itamuongoza kwamba a specify kwa hiyo chini patakuwa kuna maelezo hivyo basi kwenye ku specify which kind of answer tutamwambia at a not itakuwa ni not si ndivyo maana yake chini patakuwa kuna maelezo kwa hiyo not kama unavyoona hapa kwa hiyo tutakuja ku categorize sasa at a specify ya kwanza si ndivyo ata tuambia atatuambia kwamba katika hii land anayomiliki atatuambia number of hectares kwa hiyo okay number of of number of hectares ndivyo number of hectares ambayo hii number of hectares inaweza ikawa ni 0.5 hectares au ngapi kwa maana yake hapa decimal inahusika ndivyo ah uh, ya pili ata to specify detail ya hiyo piece of land kwamba types of of use kwamba types of land use kwamba hiyo land inatumika kwa matumizi gani ndivyo kwa hiyo atatuambia hapa type au aina ya land use type of land use kwa hiyo ata to specify either ata select au atafanya text kwa hiyo kama kwa mujibu wa details zetu tunaziona hapa ata select one ndio mhm mm either ata kuwa for 
Hagi kaç? Hagi kaç? Hagi kaç rolint? Oo. Aa, nasıl ma? Nan. Hagi kaç var? Nan hagi kaç rolint? Değil Then you can save. Good job. One. Okay. Ah, uh, bada hapo tutakuja kufanya kitu kimoja ambacho kinachoitwa raster. Ambao raster ni ile process ya ku group a question within a group. For example, hii hapa kuanzia hapa paka huku chini itakuwa ni aina nyingine ya group. Kwa mfano kama tumeona tuna magroup mawili, tuna respondents detail na tuna household details kwa hiyo tutakuwa tuna group lingine la tatu sasa ndani ya ili group la tatu hatuna budi kutengeneza group lingine si ndivyo la hii land holding details za hapa kwa hiyo kama kawaida tuta troki tugusa hapa tugusa na hii hapa alafu then tutakuja hapa na ili group ile hapa ili group ambayo lipo kwenye hii kama ku specify itakuwa ni lent ndio let's put in set capital letter itakuwa ni lent holding lent holding ndio hapa watch kwa hiyo specify detail of which lent kuja hapa to specify ndio au uh, save then utakuja ku preview kuangalia form yako umefikia hatua ipi ndivyo utakuja yes hapa land holding number of hectare utajaza utakao na number of hectares laba 0.67 hectares ndivyo ambao utakuta kwa agriculture ndivyo ah baada ya hapo tutakuja kitu kimoja hapa each kit kimoja tuta kuja kwenye ili group ambao tulo lifungua hapa tuta kuja kwenye group setting hapa kwenye group setting tuta kuta tuna all group setting tuna skip logic na tuna hapa tuna show all questions in this group on the same screen au utokuwa unaadi kwa mpano una more than one piece of land laba pesti land for agricultural ingine for other purpose or for other activities una ta bonyeza hapa repeat this group if necessary for example save up then una kuja hapa kwenye preview ndivyo utashuka hapa chini umeona hii kuna hii alama hiyo hapa ambapo mwanzoni kabla ya kuja kwenye group detail au group setting haikuepo. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukajibu hapa laba hectare kwanza na number of hectares laba 0.5 hectares alafu then ikafa agriculture laba tuseme hivi. Ndio 0.64 hectares ya lakini piece ya pili. Sasa piece of land ya pili ikawa laba ni 0.8 hectares lakini sio kwa agriculture. Ndio? Aha, kwa hiyo hapo naweza tukai remove kama umeona hiyo ni aina nyingine ya utengenezaji wa maswali ndivyo okay tunaendelea baada ya hapa tutakuja kutengeneza group sasa lingine ambayo ni group tuanzia hapa paka hapa maana yake itakuwa ni ni land information ndivyo taarifa za umilikaji umilikiji wa maeneo kwa huyu ambayo tunahitaji ku, kumuuliza. Okay. Control key. Tusa hapa. Tusa hapa. Tutagusa na hapa. Then tutakuja hapa. Ah uh, ili group ah uh, tutalipa jina. Ah uh, tutasema land ownership. Okay. Nafikiri kwa pamoja. Tutasave. Unaweza kuja hapa ku preview kama kawaida. 
Okay. View when I run up plant ownership. Then the group. Ili ni ili sabu group ni lakuwa mwenzani. Na plant holding. Kaja hapa. Number of hectares. Sindizo. Aha. Hapo kwenye kuspecify the details of which piece of land. Plant holding is kawati na jaza isi hapa. Ili ndo. Ili group lo tembo. View on your land. Sindizo. Kwa unazo kwa kija hapo. Kaja hapa Kaja hapa Kwa kasevi tuna Group Tatu za maswali Last question Last question Plus sign Kuja ku record Coordinates of household Uta record Coordinates of house household sinizo mbako utabonyeza hita ki utakuja hapa kwenye point kama lakuronda hapa uta save maada kusave ipo successful then uta preview maada kupreview kuja kuchini utaona hapa na coordinates confirm nitaji niangalie eneo niloko mimi labda nataka nitafute coordinates kwa mfano nipo Morogoro ndio Morogoro mjini okay search aha utanitafuta paka Morogoro mjini huko ndio kuja to search eneo ya na baleti ya shumi minipo hapa kugusa yu point kugusa yu point, tayali latitude na longitude yu star itakuwa displayed ok 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 hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa last question kama unazoona hapa sasa kifuatacho hapa ni kuja kwenye kipengele kingine cha tatu ah kipengele cha kwanza tayari tumesha open kwa button box collected collect account tuka create questions correspondent na fikiri tayari tunakuja sasa kwa hivi vitu vidogo vidogo ambavyo ni vya msingi kwenye maswali sivyo baada hapo tutakuja validation rules sivyo na i criteria and then tutakuja how to deploy data form on a mobile device okay kwa vipengele vipatavyo usisahau ku subscribe na youtube channel ili kuweza kujifunza zaidi na zaidi baada ya hii session tutakuja session ya hichi kipengele cha 3 cha 4 na cha 5 pia hivyo basi ni kuombe usisahau ku subscribe na youtube channel ili tuweze kufika mbali zaidi na zaidi na kujifunza masuala mazima ya teknolojia ili kuepusha gharama ambazo ziko ambazo zisizo itajika katika ukusanyaji wa data kama hapa unaona itakuwa ni simple zaidi utakaputumia android phone katika collect data na no any kind of confusion isipokuwa tu android phone yako iwe inashika mtandao mahali popote pia iwe yenye uwezo mkubwa ku store charge ili uweze ku survive nao at least kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni. Ni kuombe usisahau ku subscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele kwa kila mo update itakapokuwa ikitoviziwa uweze kuipata na kujifunza zaidi. Asanteni, asanteni sana.